Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Barb. I'm veterinarian Dr. Barb Lenahan, and I'm here to answer your questions about all things animals. Today, we're going to talk about some of my favorite animals, seals and sea lions. Before we dive in, Kula, hit it! today is a frequently asked question. What is the difference between seals and sea lions? I love this question and I'll give you a few tips to help tell them apart. Okay, so first off, seals and sea lions are marine mammals. They are in a group called pinnipeds, which means flipper-footed. There are 33 living species of pinnipeds and all are carnivorous, semi-aquatic mammals and their closest living relatives are bears and mustelids like raccoons, skunks, and weasels. Within the group of pinnipeds, there are three families, the odoriids, eared seals, phocids or true seals, and walruses. Odoriids include several species of sea lions and fur seals, and they have a few distinguishing features that set them apart from other seals. First, they have external ear flaps, which in my opinion are their cutest feature. They have long, well-developed front flippers that propel them through the water, and they can turn their hind flippers to walk on land. They can also be very noisy. Sea lions bark loudly and often. Phocids are true seals, and they do not have external ear flaps. Their ears are just tiny holes on the sides of their heads. They can also be identified by their flippers. Seals have very short front flippers compared to sea lions, and they can use their hind flippers to propel themselves through the water. On land, they are very awkward and cannot walk like the sea lions do. Instead, they flop an inchworm along on their bellies, and this movement actually has a fun name called galumphing. So to recap, if you can see external ear flaps, and if they can turn their hind flippers and walk on land, then it's either a species of sea lion or fur seal. But if there are no external ear flaps, they have short flippers, and they inchworm along on land awkwardly, that is a species of true seal. About one in five pinniped species are endangered, including the Hawaiian monk seal, Galapagos fur seal, the stellar sea lion, New Zealand fur seal, and many others. A few species have actually been hunted to extinction. All pinniped species face threats, such as entanglements in ocean trash and fishing line, ocean pollution, and climate change impacts on prey availability, lack of sea ice, and harmful algal blooms. Do you want some fun pinniped facts? All seals and sea lions have thick fur coats, and they also have a layer of blubber or fat that helps keep them warm and store energy. The eyes of pinnipeds are specialized so they can see both on land and below in the water. They can also see very well in low light conditions. They have limited color vision and can see many shades of gray, greens, and blues. Seals can actually sleep underwater while holding their breath. Sea lions are very agile in the water and can reach speeds over 20 miles per hour. Baby pinnipeds are called pups. Male elephant seals are the largest pinniped. They can weigh over 8,000 pounds, and they get their name from their trunk-like snouts. Elephant seals have some crazy vocal sounds, and their noises have even been used in movies like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. I 
hope you enjoyed today's Pinniped lesson. Please email or comment below with your animal questions. Please be sure to also subscribe to my channel and share it. Click that bell to be notified when new videos drop. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.